Okay, hello everyone, you're very welcome and thanks for dropping by again. Okay, so I've shown how to connect a couple of fittings upstairs in this house, these uh, multi-layer fittings, these crimp fittings. And uh, I'm in this bathroom, I'm here on my own, so the site's fairly quiet. And what I thought I'd do is I'd show you how I connect, you know, a load of pipes together. So essentially, I'm in a tight space, this is going to be a bath along here, you know, maybe 24 or whatever inches up, you know, off the ground. And uh, in the, the end space of the bath, what I'm trying to do, or what I'm going to do, is I'm going to connect up a load of these pipes. And what I did was I ran a high pressure three quarter hot and a high pressure three quarter cold, like three and a half bar each. And the deal is, I need to send, these are the, the mains down, and then I need to feed the shower, I need to feed the wash hand basin, and the toilet, uh, and also the bath. So essentially what I want to do is I want to hook all these pipes up. I brought them into one place in the bathroom, and then from this place in the bathroom, I went around you know, to the different positions on the walls or in the floors and so on. Now this bathroom has underfloor heating as well, I did that a while ago and uh, you know as the house progresses in stages I get a call that you know such and such a room is ready so I just arrive on site, do my little bit and go. Okay and the other day I did a pressure test on some heating pipes upstairs and, uh, and as I progress the job you know I'll bring you along with me. But at the moment anyway what I need to do before I get out of here tonight is I need to hook these up okay so I'm going to do that now. Okay, so I kind of already started, I'd cut two pipes and I thought, okay, it's fairly quiet here, I'll, I'll just throw a bit of a video together. So here we go, I've got a, a three quarter equal T-piece, uh, none of this is prepared, although I did cut two pipes down shorter. So here we go, I'm going to set this up now. I have two level lines drawn on the wall, uh, just for reference, you know, they could be at any height, whatever. I just need that all of this stuff fits under the bat, you know, that the bat goes in unimpeded, okay, so that's reamed which means it's got a bit of a chamfer and these fittings are literally pushed until you see the point of the pipe in these little viewing holes. Okay, so that's that's the three quarter pushed in. So just gonna change the head in the tool. This is a rent tool. They're quite expensive. Uh, but very, very good. Okay, so this is it. Here's my pipe ready. I put the little plastic thing in a slot, pull the trigger, and that's it. That's crimped, ready for action. So, here's my pipe in the floor. I'm just going to ring that. This is the cold pipe. So, I have cold for the bath. I have cold for the wash and basin, cold for the toilet, and cold for the shower. Right, so, I'm just making sure, which I can, I can see that the pipe is uh, exposed in these little holes here. So, here we go. Clamp that. Okay. So now what we need to do is from the branch of this one, I need to go into a three quarter by half T piece. Okay, so I need another little bit of pipe in that. We're going to ring this. Okay, so that's ready for, for the fitting. Okay, remember this fitting, oh, I nearly picked the wrong one. So this fitting is three quarter, both ends and half on the branch, 16 mil on the branch. So push it in, there we go, I can see it. Uh, now you can rotate the heads on these things to get them into awkward spaces, but they don't fit into every space, it can be, can be a bit of a pain. Okay, so that's ready. Now I need to figure out, the branch on this needs to connect with the pipe in the floor. So, I'm just going to set that up now. Okay, so... I'm just centering them, pushing them as far apart as I can so I can get the reamer in. Again, there are disadvantages to this tool, or to this system, but there's lots of advantages. So here we go, I'm just reaming that out now. Okay, so that's reamed ready to go in. Just going to do the half inch one on the floor. Okay, that's reamed ready to go in. Now, when I've got stuff in close proximity, you know, when there's awkward angle, angles involved, Generally, I pull the ferrules off and I slide them down the pipe and um, that way I can see what's going on. So look, I push the three quarter on first and then into the half, making sure that neither of the O-rings are, um, are pushed off the pipe. Okay, so that's ready. Now, we've got two, two different sizes. There's one, right? So I'm going to do that. 
And it, what I'm saying about the two different slices is the branch on the other one is half in. So change the head for that. Okay, so now we have a T piece, two T pieces mostly connected. Okay, what I need to do now is I need to connect in another cold. So I've got a cold for the washing basin and a cold for the WC, the toilet. I'm just pushing these, um, these, these are two hots that I need to connect into this one. And I'm just pushing them out of the way. In fact, as they're going to run off the back of this, I'm just push them behind that. Okay, let's do that. Right, so that's the hots behind, ready to go higher than this one. So now look, I need to get this cold in. So I'm going to change down to a three quarter by half by half. Okay, and we're going to do that. So the shower is fed straight out the three quarter branch, and the rest of it doesn't matter because this is like it's not a public bathroom. So whoever comes in here will most likely be in here on their own. Okay. So here we go. I need a little bit of three quarter pipe, and I'm just reaming it and preparing it. Okay, so that's done. Push it in. That's in. I need to change the head now. So. To make it really quick, you just click that and take it out. Next one in. That's it. So I'm going to plant that. Okay. So now we need to connect up the WC, which is the, the water closet, the toilet. Okay, so I'm, I'm going to get the fit and ready for that. So here we go, 3 quarter by half by half, or 20, 16, 16. I'll set that up to where I can get it to a handy little. Okay, so we'll do it there. Here we go. So that's the pipe cut, it's clamped in and committed. That's the only thing you need to be accurate with this. If you're you know if you're wrong on something, you might have to kind of go two or three steps back and chop out some fittings. You can't undo them. So you know. Anyway, here we go. Look. So I'm into the fitting now, or into the pipe rather, it's reamed. Make sure the swarf is out of the way. We need to quarter half half. Okay, it's going in now. That's it. Check on the head. So that's the 20 mil head. Clamp it. Okay, so the rest of this now is, is the 16 mil. So I can do away with the, the 20 mil. 16 in now. Okay, so I'm just making sure my pipes are level and, and plumb and stuff. And uh, I'm just going to set this up. So get in out of the way for a minute. One thing about this pipe is it stays, um, it holds its shape. Let me just do this. Okay. Right, so that's another piece out. Now, I, you know, okay, when I cut the pipe, I'm committed to length. If I cut it too short, well, then I'm in trouble. So I get right in there, you know, and hold it in position and then get the, the little um, the blade on the cutters and put it right where I want it and hold it there in that position, nick the pipe near me and then squeeze it. And I know I'm not going to move off it. So like I said, I take the ferrule off it, slide it down the pipe. Now I need to ring this. So in with the reamer. Okay. So that's a reamer in now. I'm going to pull on the pipe. And I'm making sure it doesn't push off the O-rings. Okay. That's lovely. I bring up the ferrule. I don't think you could hear that click, but it did. So here we go. On the system. Okay. It doesn't actually release, so you might have seen me pull away on it. But while it's in motion and pushing down on the jaws, you actually can't pull it apart, pull it away. So right, look. That's a three quarter T piece, a three quarter by half T piece connected and clamped. And you can tell they're clamped because the, uh, the ferrule gets ridged. So at a glance, you can see whether they're, you know, the pipe is fully all the way into the hole and in the right position. That's one. And two, you can tell if it's clamped or not because the ferrule changes um, shape. It goes from flat smooth to ridged. Okay, so now we've got one more pipe. We've got the wash hand basin cold to connect in here. So it's going to go on a, just a straightforward elbow, okay? And uh, that's the last fitting on this one. And already it starts to tidy up how this thing looks. So okay, so let's, I'm just going to pull off this insulation. Uh, okay, only it above the floor. Obviously in the concrete, it's, uh, it's protected. Okay. 
So, let's go. Right, I have a mark. Top of my tongue is the mark. Slide the blade into it, hold the blade in position, and then rock the blade through the pipe. Okay? Now, um, okay, reamer, here we go. Let's ream this out. Okay, now I need a small piece of pipe to go from, from this thing into this side of the elbow and the other side of the elbow is going to sit on that. So here we go. Because I read it, I can do that. So now these are very tight to each other. So I have to just persuade them to be a bit further apart. Otherwise we won't get the ream or two into it. Okay, so let's, let's find a, nice, a nicer bit of pipe. Here we go. And, okay. Okay, so this is my piece of pipe. I have to ring both ends of it. Okay, and this end. Okay, so that's this bit of pipe ring both ends. Now, I'm going to put it into the T piece, just push it straight on. And the, <coughs> the half inch elbow, I've taken the ferrule off, and I'm going to slide that over the pipe. That way, I can see. The connection being made, and that I'm not pushing the rings off the uh, off the elbow itself. So let's push that on. That's it. This is ready now for rock and roll, and I can see points in all the connections. So here we go. This is real time now. Look. That's that one. Here we go. This one. Now. Okay. Um, Maybe you can see this one being done, I'll do it from an angle. Okay. Okay. Right, so I'll give you a closer look at that in a minute. Now I need to put an elbow on this one, but I'll do that in a minute. We'll, we'll get these ones tidied up first. Okay, so here we go. Let's, let's tidy them up. Let's What I'm doing is I'm just kind of getting them a bit straighter coming out of the floor so that they look a bit better when the connections are made. Okay. There's, there's a lump of plaster at the back of that. I need to uh, I need to have a talk with. Okay. Sorry about this. Right, I have this guy on hammer on in, and it's just a drill bit. I'm not even using a chisel. I'm just using the bit. I don't know what that is. Maybe a 10, 10 millimeter bit. That's it. These were in the way, not down. Okay, so let's pull this back over a bit and straighten them up. Give myself a bit of room. And something similar to this and this. Okay, so they're relatively parallel now and ready for, for action. Okay, so here I need a three quarter equal T. Uh, I need a three quarter by half, half. So look, give me a minute and I'll go find them. Okay, so here we go again. Look, I have three fittings to put on these, these pipes. I have three pipes to connect. Um, I want to leave a pipe coming up so I can cut it and put an elbow on it. And I want to branch into to this pipe with these two fellas here, these two pipes. So initially, I need a three quarter equal T. So let's, let's get that going. Right, so if I put that on my line, and I mark off the starting position. Okay, here we go. We're committed now. I'm in. Right, let's ream that pipe now. Here we go, three quarter end of it. Okay, here's the three quarter. I need the branch looking that way. Right, it's on, and I can see the white pipe. Okay, so here's a little three quarter. Just going to ream this. Okay, that's ready for action now. Slide them on. Okay, again, I can see the white pipe in the little view holes. Okay, so now I need a little bit more three quarter. And I cut it off this guy. Okay, so just rock this through. Okay, I need to ream this now. Let's ream it. Okay, that's 
ready to go. Let's pop them in here again. Yep, I can see that. Right, so I could clamp this T piece. So let's do that. That's the head out. Here's the new head ready. Slide the pin in. Boom, done. Okay, so I'm going to clamp this up. Sides of the T piece all clamped up, ready for going, ready for action. Okay, now keep them vertical. And what we want to do is I need a three quarter by half by half. Okay, so here we go. Three quarters going onto this one, and the half is going down onto this guy here. So let's set that up. Okay, so I'm just going to chop this again. I'm just pinching it, and then I'm just going to rock it through. Look, done. Okay, pull this out and ream it. Okay, it's ringed. Now these fittings, because they're on all rings, you can actually move them. It's a little disconcerting, I have to say, but they hold pressure great. Okay, so I set up for the three quarter by half by half. So what I need is I need it to be level. Give a second while I do that. Okay. Now, I'm just going to put this guy up. Okay. Take the little ferrule off this one for a minute. Um, get it marked and ready. So here we go. I'm on it. Rock it through. Cut. Now, ferrule, well actually, I'll ring the pipe first. Okay, it's the pipe ringed. Okay, fair along, whole end up. Okay, offer them. And without pushing the, the O rings off, there we go, we're clamped in. Okay, so I need to ring this bit of pipe, half inch. Okay, put this into an elbow, it's in the elbow. Make sure these are nicely set up. Okay, that will do. Right, let's chop this in. Right, that's good. Okay, here we go. Into this elbow now, all the way through to the white fit, the white viewing port. Now into this guy. Making sure I'm level or fairly in line with my mind. Now reach through and chop it. Okay, so you end up with a few bits of pipe, but you know, the scheme of things, it's okay. So I need to ring this last pipe. Okay, and let's pop it down. Okay, so this is ready now for clamping, but I need to change out the clamp again. So actually get to do this a lot in the day. There's that clamp out. And now this crimp head in. Alright, so I've one, two, three, four to do. So let's do that. Okay, so now I have one three quarter left to do on this. This one. Let's count that. Okay. So let's tidy this up a bit. Alright. Now, there's a lot of room at the end of this bath, okay? And that's where these guys are gonna live. Now I have to put two elbows on this, so let's do that now. Right, find the two elbows. Okay, so here's my two three-quarter elbows, and they're gonna live on this thing. Come around here to the bat. So um it was under my knee. 
Okay, so let's cut this one reasonably tight so that we're not too high with the bad one. Okay, and let's um, let's ream that. Okay, that's done. Let's do, let's put an elbow on it and see so we can see our weights. Okay, that's there. Let's go a little bit lower now with the other fella. Down maybe here. Okay, just read that. Alright, put that elbow on. Now I need to get some pipe to put in here, so give me a sec. Okay, so this is three quarter or 20 mil pipe, okay, and unlike copper pipe, you can actually bend it by hand. So, let's straighten that up a bit. Okay, so <coughs> now this is going to be under a bat, okay. And uh, I just need to get to roughly where the, the bat is going to be because there's going to be flexible connections connecting from the bat to these. So I just need it down somewhere there. Going to chop off the surface. And I'm just going to open that up. And I'm going to chop off. Okay, so I'm offering that up here. And I'm saying there. Okay. I'm going to ring this now. Okay, it's ringing. And I'm going to offer it up and put it on this now. Okay. Now, we've already got the three quarter head on this, the 20 mil. I'm going to clamp this. Clamp this. Okay, so I need to get another piece of pipe from here. Okay, so I found another piece of pipe, just gonna ring the end. Alright. And I'm just literally pulling a bend by hand. Okay, so what to do? Let's just bend it up out of the way. Get this guy in. Alright, that's all the way in. And I'm gonna clamp it. Alright, here we go. Okay, so that's my setup. Uh, you've seen in real time kind of making some connections uh, in a confined space. Normally I set them up better than that, but um, you know, when the guys were doing the floor and putting plasterboard in, they just kick pipes to suit themselves. Okay, so that's how I made the connections in real time. I think it took about 30 minutes to connect all of this up, you know, so which isn't too bad. If you were connecting these up with um, solder fittings or wherever, you'd still have to cut pipes and prepare them the whole lot, which is what I had to do here. The difference is, um, I can do these in solder or whatever you want, but uh, this one um, I've done in multi air fittings and, and I find them really good. I find them very reliable. Okay, so if you haven't been here before, uh, if you wouldn't mind, click subscribe, give us a thumbs up. <laughs> and sure look, if you've been here before, thanks very much for coming back. And look, I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now. Good luck. See you.